Hello everyone, and welcome back to Zoo Tycoon Drap Horizons, where we are watching Judith. Wow, oh, did you see that? That was so cool. Look at how beautiful she is. Look at this. Oh, she's getting a drink from the pool. Oh, look at her big horns. This is so cool. And look at the baby giraffe and mom like watching her in the background. Oh, this is so cool. Yeah, we're definitely going to need to uh, do more of these mixed species exhibits because this is quite exciting. But welcome back, my friends. We are actually getting ready to tackle the daily challenges and to try to learn a little bit more about Judith, who is apparently quite the star of the show as an Arabian Ornix antelope. She is actually very rare and she has got the attention of so many of the guests who are absolutely crowded around to see her. And I think that Judith knows she's a little bit of a star. Just look at her frolic. That is so cute. That is just absolutely so cute. But other than looking at our adorable antelope, I also want to try to fill up so many of the empty exhibits that we have scattered around the zoo today. We have empty savanna exhibits. We have empty tropical pools. I just have no idea. Like another empty savanna exhibit. What am I doing? Absolutely, what am I doing? There's an empty grasslands exhibits, an empty tropical exhibits. We just have so much to do. And that reminds me, we do also need to work on our little lemur island. Where's lemur island? I know lemur island is somewhere nearby. There's the lemur keeper. Okay, that's right. We were going to work on lemur island and we were going to add a ton of lemur islands around here. And then we were going to gather up the lemurs that we had and send them onwards to some of the reserves. I wish that they could breed. That would be so much fun. Oh, they're so cute. They're just so cute. Oh my gosh, look at them go. Oh, I love watching them when they sunbathe. But I totally forgot about that, but I was actually getting some more news about Zoo Planet. And when it comes to some of the smaller animals in Zoo Planet, when you do keep them happy, they will indeed have babies. So that's very exciting. Oh, but yeah, we have a lot to do and I really do want to start working on getting to the point where we can start looking forward to exploring some of our other new zoos and sharing animals between the two of them. So let's go ahead and get started today by just glancing over Judith once more. Ah, and that's right, there's actually a lot of poop. We have a bit of a poop problem, so we probably need to get ourselves another zookeeper soon. But I do- oh, little baby Nikki, the Nubian giraffe, and Clive, and Eris, and Lynn, and Wentworth, what a name. All right, but I do want to learn a little bit more about Judith really quickly. <gasps> Daisy the pale transvo mossy lion. Oh, that's right. That's right. We did have Daisy. Daisy. I think, oh, there's a lot of poop actually. I think I need another zookeeper. But hang on just a second. I want to see where Daisy is. Hey, Jazzy. How are you? Wow. Somebody's feeling pretty relaxed. Rootward, Elward, Theo, Penelope, Eva, Hercules, Catherine, Daisy. <gasps> Daisy! This is so exciting! Look at her as an adult. You can really tell, tell that we have a white lion. <gasps> can you imagine if this was Planet Zoo and we could really try to isolate her genome for like future lion cubs? This is really amazing. I love seeing the variants. I can't, that's one of the things I'm really looking forward to in Planet Zoo, is actually seeing how we can follow the genetics of the lineage of our animals, from lions to wolves to giraffes, and the genetics will affect everything from how they look to how they behave. Look at her. Wow, Daisy. You are really something. She's so pretty, guys. Isn't she just so pretty? I forgot that we ended up with a rare variant of a lion in here. People better appreciate that. Now I want to like put down a special restaurant where people can appreciate that. But all right, uh, we've got a lot going on. Okay, really quickly. Oh, there's a lot of poop again already. Judith, <laughs> I'm trying to learn more about you, dear. Would you be kind enough? Okay, I think we have to go. Oh, we've got an epidemic. Definitely, there's too much poop. There's actually so much poop that we have a very bad epidemic. We're gonna spin. 
A hundred and fifteen thousand. Do I have any money left? I do. But wow, that was a little bit of a blow. That was a little bit of a blow to my my bank account. Um, and I'm I'm the janitor level. The janitors, a survey among recent guests suggests that your zoo is untidy and needs to be cleaned up. Try increasing one of your janitors to level three so they can do a better job. Oh, geez. Um, apparently we have some issues going on. <laughs> if we just had like a major, a major poop catastrophe. Do I have, okay, Eric, let's go ahead. We're going to train Eric to level three. We'll get a tidiness bonus from that. And I think that it's time to add in a, another zookeeper, friends. Another zookeeper area. Because we're getting a little bit, a little bit caught up and feeling a little, a little bit of the intensity of uh, trying to keep up with everything else. So let's put a zookeeper, I think, right here. There we go. And then we'll hire some new ones. And we'll also do an upgrade in just a second. Uh, that's probably... Okay, we'll connect over here. Alright, and then let's go ahead. We're gonna do a couple upgrades to the facility. Because we can afford it. <gasps> and our zoo fame is going up as a result. Alright, and then let's hire... Let's go with Claire. And... Let's go ahead and hire Ari. And... Hopefully, Claire will do her work and let's see if that's enough to take care of kind of the the mild catastrophe of major amounts of poop that we are dealing with in the whole zoo so hopefully that will take care of things uh apparently i need a picture of a sable antelope is this my sable antelope exhibit lisa you look like a sable antelope to me oh we need to rename it okay guys okay we need to rename and we're going to name this the stable of sables. Oh, what do you guys think about that? I love it. It's very obvious who we have in here after all. And somebody wants me to take a picture of the sable antelopes. So let's get that done. Oh, wow. Look at how relaxed they are. I love that. They're just they're just like kicking up dust and having a good time. We've, we're, we also need to do best kept animals. A competition is being run for the local zoos. And the zoo with the highest animal happiness wins. Get your average animal happiness into the green for five minutes. Okay, we should be able to do that. A magazine photo challenge now. They want another picture. They're like, no, 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 no. We want more stable antelopes. Well, I'm not going to complain. Maybe we can celebrate the stable of stables with... Like uh oh oh look they're they're knocking they're ah oh, they're knocking their little horns together that's so cool. Let's see. And we need to release as many endangered animals into the wild as possible. Hmm. Yeah, I think we're finally 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 doing good on all of the challenges, so they can just calm down for a second. All right, so let's go up. Phew. And then let's come over to our new grasslands exhibit. Let's go ahead and rename it really quickly. So I actually want to rename this uh, our Nubian Nubian Giraffe. Hmm. Nubian Spots and uh, let's see. Ornix. Hmm. Hmm. Hang on. Nubian Spots and Onyx Spears. There we go. That will let me know, like, we've got the Nubian giraffes in here, and we also have our new antelope, who I need to learn a little bit about. She's very rare, so I would love to actually be able to add in a male of her kind, if they're available. The Arabian Ornix antelope. Uh, is there a male available? Heathcliff! We have a male! Okay, quick, guys! We got Heathcliff. We might be able to have breeding of our rare antelopes, which would be extremely exciting. We should get a new breeder on top of that. Uh, and then let's actually move one of my other antelopes. Not Whitworth, not Judith, uh, not Nikki, not Clive, not Bessie. Where's Eris? Eris, okay, buddy. You're actually good to go back to this, the like stable of stables, if you would like, buddy. Oh. 
It's full! They went and had a baby on you, Eris! Can you believe that? Alright, we'll wait till he's level 15 and release him to the wild. He's learning new tricks. He's been kicked out of the stable of sables because they went and had more stable of sables on them. Alright, phew, there's a lot to do. There's a lot to do. I need to learn about that antelope. And then we also need to see... Oh, I haven't been doing advertising, have I? Oh. Oh, wow. <gasps> TV and movie research. I haven't even started doing research on the print stuff. Oh, geez. We've got so much to do. Let's see what kind of research we can do, friends. Well, our animal breeding is definitely going along well. Uh, and we can do more research, I think. Yeah, we could do more research on animal breeding. I had no idea that we didn't even have animal breeding researched because <laughs> we have been doing so well with it. Uh, we could do research on the concessions, on the facilities, research on the research, which I think we've already, have we already done? Yeah, I think we've already done that. Research on the decorations, enrichment toys. We've already, have we already done animal care? We could do research on care enrichment so that they have less of a chance of breaking down. Gosh, there's quite a bit going on. Well, before we do research on the animal breeding, as fun as it sounds. Ooh, and you can knock off 100% animal needs on arrival. Holy cow. You can make it easier for the animals to like travel here. Let's get the exhibit research done because we want to make sure self-cleaning exhibits. Are you kidding me? That's an option. Your zookeepers have found that certain combinations of plants are more. Oh, of course it's plants. I love plants or more beneficial to the maintenance of exhibits, reducing maintenance cost even further. Excellent. Well, we'll go ahead and start researching that in a second, but I do want to see, let's get some advertising, some viral advertising. Oh yeah. Let's do like, well, let's just do medium intensity for a second, because I do actually need to add more places for guests to use the restroom and get something to eat if they're going to come. And then antelopes. Arabian antelope. So where is my... I know it's around here somewhere. Is it in here? The Zoopedia! There it is! Alright, let's see. Antelope, antelope, antelope. There we go. Though hunted almost to extinction, the Arabian or oryx has been successfully restored to the wild and is well adapted to its life in the deserts of the Middle East. Adults have bright white coats that reflect sunlight and splayed hooves to help them walk on sandy terrain. It's estimated there are six to 7,000 orcs in captivity and approximately only 1,000 in the wild? Oh, I hope that's gone up. The last wild orcs was shot in 1972, but conservationists, governments, and zoos around the world work together to save the species. The first ever to be upgraded from extinct in the wild to vulnerable. <gasps> that's amazing! Oh, I can't wait for us to be able to have more of them to help with the wild, like, populations. We'll have to learn more about them in the future. I love actually like just gently teasing away these facts about them uh, and learning a little more at a time. But they eat grasses, leaves, roots, buds, and occasionally wild melons. Oh, that's so cool. Okay, well, now I'm happy that I have learned why that little one is so rare uh, with good, good, like, uh, very good reason to be rare too. Let's see if we can add in a little shop for people, like a little place to eat. Do I have new places? Oh, like a coffee place. Hmm. That would be kind of nice. I, it's, it's about as fancy as we can possibly get here. So let's go ahead and do a coffee shop research. And then entertainment, a lion mascot, souvenir shop. Ooh, actually, these would be really nice. Maybe we could do... Another souvenir shop nearby so that you could really learn or maybe we could do like biodegradable balloons It'd actually be fun to watch people walk around with some biodegradable balloons We just got the surprise animal for having our our animals be so well kept. Holy cow We're gonna have to see what we can do with that All right, let's get a coffee shop actually I want something a little bit more serious and stately for people to be able to really think about the fact that we almost forever lost the populations of these orcs. And it was only with the dedicated effort of zoos and governments and researchers around the world who managed to make this happen. Also, how dare you guys strike? 
Like, I mean, I get it. You need a little bit, you need a little bit of attention. You need a little bit of the monies. But like, we're in the middle of trying to do all of these, these upgrades, you people. Okay. Thankfully their strikes are not the biggest. So let's go ahead and do medium on the janitor strike and we'll just go full out on the zookeeper. And hopefully the strike will be shorter with the janitors. Okay, there we go. They're blushing with shame because of because of the situation they put us in. I mean, zookeepers going on strike is serious. Our, our poor little animals just cannot put up with that. All right, let's upgrade this coffee shop and change the price to high. And then I want to rename it because uh, I want I want people to really sit and and have like a a thoughtful thoughtful sip. So they can think how close the beautiful Oryx came to almost being extinct. And then let's add in a tree decoration or something really pretty. Scenery, topiary, huh? <gasps> Giraffe topiary, why am I not? Oh, it's huge. <laughs> why do I not have more of these everywhere? Holy cow, we might have to just like move some things around to plunk that down because I love it. But let's actually see scenery. Wow, I love the little scenery things. Medium rock, savanna. Maybe we can do like a grassland tree. Temperate forest, tropical. Hmm, temperate forest, savanna. Let's go with this tree. And we'll put it down. Well, ooh, we can actually fit quite a few things over here now that I'm looking at it. I love that. I really love that. Can I put in a medium rock right here? Not quite. Small rock. There we go. And we'll have ourselves a thoughtful little small rock plunked down where people can sip their coffee and dwell and think on how close this entire species they have loved watching judith frolic in her wading pool and the entire species was almost shot and hunted into extinction possibly because unfortunately of those beautiful horns of theirs and hopefully this will actually keep us a little a little bit nicer there we go oh i could just plunk down trees all day that is definitely something i enjoy all right, well, there we go, guys. Phew, the janitors are on strike. Nobody panic. Uh, just, you might want to hold it if you, oh, jeez, if you need to run to the restrooms. <laughs> oh, this looks really pretty. Oh, are there even birds hanging out in there? Hang on here. No, just beautiful flowers. Okay, well, phew. All right, at least we got a few things named. We learned a little bit about the antelopes and we have figured that our sable antelopes are doing very well. I just have so much I want to do in the entire zoo and trying to keep up with it is quite tricky, but I think we'll get there eventually. So thank you guys so much for joining me. If you could, do please leave a like to toss a treat to all of our animals. I really do want to be able to start experimenting with other parts of the zoo. I think we'll have to go ahead and try filling up the whole zoo, all of the empty exhibits we have with animals and work from there. Ah, and hopefully we will have many more wonderful adventures to share. So guys, until next time, most importantly, stay curious. And I'll see you then. Bye-bye.